In this video, we'll walk through the two main EV Play apps. For those that are new to EV Play and not sure what it is, well, it's essentially a small but powerful mini computer that brings Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, and native Android apps to your vehicle screen. You switch between the existing vehicle screen and the EV Play screen via a small wireless button, which you can mount anywhere in the vehicle. When you first turn on EV Play, you'll see the home screen. There are two apps in the taskbar, the first one being the EV Play app, and the second one being the Android Auto slash CarPlay app. Let's explore the EV Play app first. Starting from the left, you have the gear icon, viewable only if you have a Gen 1 vehicle. EV Play knows which gear you are in, allowing it to switch to the vehicle's backup cameras automatically when you put it in reverse. Other auto switching is available, which I'll discuss shortly. The green and brown icons, speed and GPS coordinates respectively, will only be viewable on Gen 2 vehicles. This allows auto switching as well, but based on location instead. Next, we have a virtual switch, if for some reason you lose the wireless button. The next button resets the Android Auto slash CarPlay connection. The next button checks for software updates, and the last button is the app settings. On the settings screen, you can choose day and night brightness, auto switch functionality, and various diagnostic settings. We will go into greater detail on the various settings on subsequent videos. The other app controls all the features and functionality of Android Auto and CarPlay. This is where you can set things such as resolution, screen size, and auto connect options. Note that you can connect to Android Auto and Apple CarPlay via either a wired or wireless connection.